Euler's method on the HB prime calculator. Okay, so here's Euler's method. This is a screenshot from the IB formula booklet. And what it does is it takes, um, it goes up in steps. So the X value goes up in steps, which we call H. And here's how we get the Y value. Uh, it's just the previous, this is N, Y of N plus one is the previous Y value plus the step size times the function with x and y, the previous x and y plugged in. So we're going to convert that now into the notation of the calculator. So we're going to go to apps and click on sequence. And if we've got something in there, I'm going to just clear that. Okay, so let's start with u1. So u1 and u2, that's going to be your x and your y. Uh, so your we're going to put in the initial x value, which in this case is 0. Okay, and the initial y value is 1. So we're going to put in 0 here. And for the initial y value, we're going to put in 1. Okay, these are given in the question. Step size is 0.25. Okay, so we're going to see how to incorporate that now in a second. Um, yeah, so that's going to be right here. So the x value is, remember, u1. So what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to type in, uh, to get the next x value, we do the previous x value plus h. So in this case, that's going to be u1 of n minus 1. That gives you the previous x value, right? So here we have n plus 1 and n. You, this could just as easily be n and n minus 1. Uh, anyway, we have the previous x value plus the step size, which is 0.25. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with 0. Alright. So because uh, after one step, that's going to be 1. So we're going to start with 0. Um, and then we have the y value. So the y value is the previous y value. So that's u2 and minus 1 plus h, which is 0 0.25, times the function. So you look at the function for this part, and we have x minus y squared plus 2. So remember, x is u1, and those are the previous x and y. So we're going to do, I think you need this bracket, and we're going to put in u1 of that. Uh, actually, I do need brackets there. Or actually, I do need brackets for around the whole thing. Because we're going to have 0 0.25 times the entire function. So that's x, and then minus. I need brackets because this is going to be y squared. I need the brackets. And then we're going to put in the y value is u2 of n minus 1. And square that. So that's y squared. And then a plus 2 at the end, right? So let's double check that. Yeah, that looks like it's correct. So I'm going to press enter there. And looks like everything's set up. We're starting at zero. Don't forget that. Make sure it says un and not un plus k, although you can do it differently using that one. Okay, our initial values are correct, so all that should work. If we go to num, we can see all the steps. So the x value is going up by 0 0.25. And the y values are changing. So we want four here because that's after four steps so yeah or you can just look at the x value here when the x value is one we have the y value is 1.63 this question asks for three significant figures so it is 1.63